Hello friends, we would like to solve a problem based on Lamy's theorem. So let me read the question. Find the tension in the cable BA and BC necessary to support the 100 kg cylinder as shown in the figure. So if you can see the figure over here, there is a cable BA and there is a cable BC and they are supporting a cylinder which is suspended through point B. So the weight of cylinder friends, it is 100 kg. We have to solve this particular problem. So before solving this problem, let me remind you about a very important theorem called as Lamy's theorem. So what Lamy's theorem says is very interesting here friends. Suppose we have a point. So there are three forces acting on this particular point. Let's say something like this. If I say this is force 1, this is force 2 and this is force 3. So this is an example of three coplanar concurrent forces. And these three forces are balancing out the entire system means they are in equilibrium condition. So in this situation, if I say this angle is which is opposite to force F2, let me call this as theta 2. This angle friends which is opposite to force F1, let me call theta 1. And this angle which is opposite to force F3, let me call this angle as theta 3. So this system of forces are in equilibrium condition. So for such conditions, according to Lamy's theorem friends, we get F1 divided by sin of angle opposite to it. So let's say F1, the angle opposite to it is sin theta 1. So sin of theta 1 will be equal to, if I take force F2, so that divided by the angle opposite to F2 is theta 2, that is sin theta 2 I should write here. And if I write F3, so angle opposite to force F3 is theta 3. So here it will come as sin theta 3. So if these three forces are in equilibrium condition, so by Lamy's theorem, this will be the condition they have to follow. So here also I am going to follow same condition friends. So first of all, what I will do is I will say the tension in this particular cable, this tension friends, I will call it as tension BC. Okay. Similarly, tension in this particular cable friends, that is AB, I am going to call it as tension AB or BA. And here the tension over here is going to be same as the weight that is W. So these three forces are keeping each other in the equilibrium condition. Okay. Now we need to find all these angles. So let's see how we can find all angles. Okay. So here this angle is given as 45 degree and this angle because it is, is a horizontal line and there is a vertical line. So this angle is going to be 90 degree friends. So this angle will be 90 degree. Okay. So this whole angle I have got. Now I need to find this angle theta. This is important to find here. So this angle theta can be found by this information that is the slope is 3 by 4. So by geometry we can say tan theta equals 3 by 4 and if I simplify this I will be getting theta as tan inverse of 3 by 4 and that will give us the value of theta as 36.87 degrees. So this is going to be 36.87 degrees. Okay. So we got the value of theta this one. So this is 36.87. So this angle is 36. 0.87 friends and this angle is already we know it is going to be 90 degree okay so i can add these two angles so i can get the overall angle between this segment and this segment okay so this angle also i have got friends so this whole angle is also known to us now because for lamy's theorem we need this angle between two forces right so this angle is known to us from here to here and this angle is also known to us now we need to find this angle friends so this angle will be also simple so if i say this is 45 degree and this is 36.87 degrees. So this angle would be overall is from here to is 180 degrees friends. So 180 minus this plus this that is 36.87 plus 45 degree. Okay. So if you simplify this value, so this angle will be getting as 98.13. Okay. So now if you see the situation over here, we know the angle between any two segment of this whole system. Okay. So now friends, we have got the all angles. So we got friends now angle between AB and BC, angle between AB and BD and the angle between BC and BD. So all these angles are known to us friends. So we can apply Lamy's theorem over here. Therefore by Lamy's theorem, now if I say this particular force, the tension BA, then I will have to divide it by sine of this angle that is 45 plus 90 that is 135. Similarly, if I take this particular segment, if I take this cable, so tension in the cable BC divided by this angle. Okay. So this whole angle is 90 plus 36.87 that is going to be 126.87.
Similarly, now we'll be taking or we can say the weight. So weight is 100 kg. That divided by the angle opposite to it is 98.13. So sin 98.13. So here, if you take this particular pair, friends, this one, this pair. So here, if you see only TBC is unknown, okay. So I can find out the value of TBC, that is tension in the cable BC, by solving this equation. Similarly, if I take this particular part of the equation, so you can see here, the unknown is only tension in the end. Remaining all things are known to us, right? So like this, we will be doing one by one and we'll be finding out the value of tension in the cable BA and tension in the cable BC. So therefore, I can use this term and this term. So I'll be getting from here, tension in the cable BA will be equal to 100 sin 98.13 into then this factor will multiply there that is sin 135. So if you solve this equation the tension in the cable BA will be 71.56 kg. So I am getting values in the kg you can convert these values into Newton by multiplying it with 9.81. So I am not doing it because the values are given in kg only so I am continuing in kg. Similarly if I take this particular part of the equation that is tension in BC will be equal to 100 this one divided by sin 98.13 and then this denominator will come here that is sin 126.87 if you solve this so you will get the value of tension in the cable BC as 80.96 kg so just by following simple Lamy's theorem you can easily find out the tension in these cables that is cable AB and cable BC. Thank you very much.